<laughs> yeah, she's looking. She's watching. Me. Yeah, you guys always ask me why it's just Capone walking with me. Why? Because he's yeah. yeah he's he, he he is in New Jersey right now. So uh, do you miss Angie's. him? Um. Yeah. I mean, I, I miss. I'm <laughs> sure he's going to be excited. And what happens is when he comes back, he'll sniff everything because he missed. You know. <laughs> Five days of walking. <laughs> Is that how long she's be? Uh... Mm. We should leave Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. almost six days. She's going back today? Or? Tonight. She'll okay. be back late tonight. Yeah, she went to see her dad for his birthday. Ah. Yeah, and then we go to Nashville on Friday. Oh, you like, do you like Tennessee? It's pretty nice. I mean, it's really busy. Downtown is crazy. Like, it's like Vegas. It's like, like the Memphis? new Vegas. Mm -hmm. It's just um, all, you know, a lot of uh, bachelorette parties. And, oh. But, yeah, it's uh, I heard Nashville, it was, I heard Tennessee. It was a nice, nice place to live. I don't know. Well, there's no state income tax. I just don't know why venturing out. You know, ask Flex. Flex lived in he did. Knoxville or somewhere he around had, there. Uh, he had the juice bars there. Mm. Remember? Is that what he did? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Brandon used to train together there. Yeah, I mean, there was, you know, they have, you know, uh, Brent has carbon culture out there, and Brandon's a part of that one location. And, uh, you know, Brent owns Armada, which is a manufacturing, and he, uh, Mark Lobliner is out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they're all, they're all part of that carbon thing out there. They have a pretty good gym culture there. Yeah. And then uh, I know that, that Doug is opening a clinic there called Relieve. Okay. You know, which is da Dom I Ivaconi's, uh, it, was, it was revived before, but it's right. called Relieve now. So I know Doug's opening up that. I think it should be open anytime. So last year I got to go out and train when I was there, I got to train with um, Brent and I got to see Mark. Mark's doing something really cool there where, you know, Mark owns Tiger Fitness, but yeah. he has, you know, his supplement brand or whatever else. But he he's actually has like a, a training uh, area for like um, athletes, for kids. And, you know, he works well with his, his kids sports. You yeah, know? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I like I like kind of that culture and, you know, teaching the youth. It's like, kind of funny. I just did a. I just did an Instagram, I don't know if you saw it, like a short, I think it might have been a YouTube short too, but I talked about on the podcast, if I was to raise my child to train, I would still keep them, like, I would do machines, but I would try to teach them the core movements, you know, the squat, the deadlift, the bench press, it's like, What's, what do you think is the first exercise you ever did when you went in the gym? Bench. Was it bench press? Yeah. I mean, I think that's all, like the standard. Yeah. And it's kind of funny because full circle now, I, don't, I talk about it's like the worst exercise for bodybuilding, right? To get on a barbell. And granted, I still do it once in a while, just not heavy weight. But the problem is you get so strong as you grow yeah. as a bodybuilder, yeah. you know, competitive bodybuilder. And, you know, you get national level pro that... It's just, it puts way too much tension on the shoulder joint and it, yeah. you know, everyone tears their pec. Yes, and you know what? And someone's going to hear this video and they're going to say either I tore my pec or they're going to say, well, I'm st I still love bench press and I'm like, Jay. And unfortunately, they're going to tear their pec because it can happen with, you know, it rarely happens with 135, but when you start putting three, yeah. 225, 315, Four or five. I remember two times at Sahara Decatur, two, twice, I was like, I'm going to bench press because Ronnie Coleman was a big bench presser. He always did flat bench because we trained together when we traveled. I remember specifically when we went and we trained in Pittsburgh, he would do chest on Saturday. I remember he would do flat bench, incline bench, and decline bench, all barbell. So I'm like, you know what? I, I like how it felt because I do get a crazy pump from it. And I remember getting up to four plates and being so strong and ripping through the reps. And like, I got to like six or seven and all of a sudden, oh, I felt a little twinge twice. Oh, geez. And this was like, oh, five. So I was on the verge of yeah. winning yeah. and it could have changed the whole it's scary. process. You know, Steve Murphy used to talk about that a lot. He did? Yeah, because he said uh, that what, what attached the pec to the shoulder is very short tendon. It's very... You know, so it's not much, even though you may be strong as hell, eventually if you, um, 
sometimes people just like, you know, especially when you get strong, you don't, you barely warm up. But I think you start torquing, you know, like yeah. when you torque Using because you get so strong yeah. that it's like, you know, repetitions, it depends yeah. on your speed. I mean, yeah. you watch a lot of people like a Michael Hearn will really go through and yeah. you can see like the whole chest. And he, listen, he could sit here and like, I still see him benching and whatever. He does more in, seems like incline. It's, I, I can't say people don't tear their pack on incline. I've actually seen it. I've watched a guy try to reach his arm and it was out of the socket and everything. But, oh my God. uh, it, it's just not the best exercise. So you mm. can do a lot with dumbbells and machines yeah. and other stuff, but you talk, we're going back to that, those movements, you know, you're still going to, like the kids in high school are going to bench press, especially the kids training for football and uh, yeah, I know. more functional training. Remember, you're training for power, so it's like, you, you know, it's pushing movements, yeah. you know, off the ground yeah. movements, you know, vertical jumping, whatever else. I mean, yeah. the athletes do, train, do a lot of different drills now. That's yeah. what's advanced too, and that's why, like the NBA, NFL, there's so many talented stars. Like, not to say like back in the Jordan era or a Walter Payton era for football. It's like those guys, there's those freaks that can, that can kind of move like that. Yeah. But the functional training is just so, the guys that don't have the ability can actually transform into like, look at Tom Brady who was picked, drafted, you know, in whatever the sixth round and becomes like the best quarterback of all time. Like yeah. how, how does that happen? Right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, and, and listen, no one thought I was going to be Mr. Olympia necessarily either. I mean, Milo says it all the time on our podcast. He's like, if I, he said, I probably would have bet any amount of money that you Lonnie. wouldn't have bet. Like, I wouldn't have seen it. You know Lonnie, what I mean? Lonnie, too. You should say that. Yeah. And look at what happened. I mean, I know. it just you sometimes, shocked everyone. <laughs> I mean, Nick Walker's proven everyone wrong with his genetics, too. I mean, he's won an Arnold Classic, two New York pros, third in the Olympia. Come on. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, people argue all day, oh, you know, so how are you going to count a guy out like that? Yeah, that's for sure. Hard work. Branch Warren's another one. Look at Branch Warren's career. Got second place, dude. Next to me. I know. People, that was you know, shocking. That I mean, shocking. He, he may think, like, he arguably could have beat me on certain things, you know? That was Nothing wrong with that. He did look great in 09. Probably the best ever. Yeah. That's true. All right, we're going to jaywalk a little bit. We'll get around the neighborhood with enough talking in my kitchen. Okay. All right, a little windy today, guys, so let's hope for the best with the mics. They are. We don't get many complaints anymore, man. No, we don't. We don't. I mean, you've rescheduled times, you know, when it's, like, too windy, so... Yeah, so tell them that, because, hey, Jay. I mean, sometimes, sometimes I'll get up, and he's like, hey, you know what, it's too windy today. It's just tomorrow. Or yeah. It's the only uh, a couple downfalls with the desert, but I never knew that Nevada had such windy conditions. I know, me neither. You know, no one ever talked about that. They only talk about, it's hot all the time, but I think the heat is here to stay. Oh, yeah. Well, you sent me a... I sent your screenshot. Uh, what is so? It says 108. I think this week, right? The whole week, like 100, 100, 100. 100 I sent 100. it to, I sent it to Brad. He's in Thailand or, still or Dubai. Yeah, I think wow. he and he's like, oh, I don't, I couldn't take that, that heat. But I think Dubai is going to be just as much. I don't know why he's. Oh yeah. Did he did he move there or what? He's like, over there doing. Uh, he's doing like tissue therapy and. Really. Yeah, he's just kind of traveling. You know, since he's semi-retired now. Yeah. He kind of sold off a little bit of his business and okay, okay. he's trying to enjoy life. Well, good for him. Yeah, you know, we were talking about this the other day in the scope of, you know, politics and the atmosphere of the conditions in the U.S. And, you know, of course, we hear so much news and we're not sure about that news. But, yeah. like, a lot of people are deciding to go international. Yeah. And, you know, I think U.S. U.S. used to be this place that everyone was like wanted to come here yeah there's just i mean listen there's great places we were just talking about nashville and uh how, how we liked it but um it really comes down to you know you hear these nightmares about california and oh geez other other states right new york city oh geez the two coasts are like ugh. not good right now which is funny because i used to love my trips to new york i was talking to 
back in the day, dude, everyone wanted to be either New York, California. New York, California. It's funny, I was talking to Steve Weinberger about the the uh, the Atlantic States was last week and Nick Walker guest posed. Oh yeah. Looked tremendous by the way. But not, that was kind of our that was our last hurrah. I mean the West Coast Classic was too, but yeah. I would always kinda like that was when I would go into prep. I always started my prep around the time in June right. when I guest posed at Steve's show. And I used to love staying in the city. You know, I would kind of rotate hotels and you know, I stayed at like W's and I stayed at Ritz Carlton's and some really like, that was the time where I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself and stay in an upper upper service hotel uh -huh. and spend, because I knew I was going into that full fledged prep. Yeah. And it's funny, I was talking to this girl, Danielle at the gym last night, who's doing a lot of, you know, she's starting to do vlogging on, on YouTube. So I went up to her and told her, you know, keep doing it because I ran across on YouTube. And we were talking about, uh, we were talking about like, like you doing YouTube and, and content and this and jaywalking and, you know, the experience and whatnot. And I mean, it was, I just, you know, with content, bro, it's, it's important to, to stay constant with it. Yeah. That's one thing that we were always doing. I mean, when you were at Gold's Venice, I mean, I remember every day you'd be like, so-and-so's coming, yeah. this person's oh, coming. Yeah. And I remember you were pretty busy all the time. All the time. There was always something happening. Yeah. Those were the good old years. I'm glad I was there. I was there for the early 90s, all the way up to when the shit hits the fan. But, you know, I was also telling her I remember I used to call you because I was deep into prep. You know, by the time, like, I started in June, then you get in July, and then it's, like, August, and it was like, so monotonous. I remember, do you yeah. remember me calling you? I was training at, like, 2 in the afternoon at Gold's Gym Lake Mead. And yeah. I was like, Dave, what's going on out there? I need some action. Every day he would call me. Because it was just so, like, well, th there wasn't really anything story. happening. So, yeah. you know, we talk about being in the gym. Like, last night, I think I sent you a video, and I said, dude, I'm the only one in here right now. And I really enjoy that. Yeah. But we were talking. She was like, you know, sometimes I need a little social to kind of motivate of course, me. Of course. And that's why, like, we at 8 o'clock, should have launched right now. We have the chest training from Saturday that I shot with J-Mac. Yeah. And, uh... That's, that has a little more interaction because I did it at Fit Club, Fit Club. down by the Strip. Okay. Because, listen, we can go to Kilo's and we can go to these other places. Yeah. But it's, it's uh, not as busy. It's not as busy, you know. Yeah. I'm going to hide this mic a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, encouragement to anyone out there for doing anything that involves commitment and dedication to it. The consistency is key in that, right? Of course. It's not absolutely necessary. So, the dogs are looking for a cajon today. I know. That was my buddy. So the question is, are you going to take the bike out? Yeah, now it's still a good time because it's not too hot. Although, well, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> you, you were just asking me about yeah. a, a park that... Yeah. What do you think was, was your favorite? Did you have a favorite ride of Vegas? Like, did you go to Red Rock? Out Red to Rock like Loop Diamond? is great, yeah. You know, there's a little, sort of like a little city, about halfway to Red Rock, you yeah. know that? And then they have like restaurant and I saw it, yeah. post office. It's so cute. It's right on that side road, right? Yeah. And if you don't know it's there, You'll very easy to it. pass it, yeah. But I went there, I would stop by with the bikes and have a it's coffee. It's funny, I, so my neighbor, you know, he had his vet out the other day, his Corvette. And I, he stopped and, you know, I was backing out of my driveway and he's like, I just did Red Rock. And he's like, and I got a ticket. Oh no. Uh, doing 110 or something. Oh. And uh, I, said, I said, oh no, I, he didn't let you go. He's like, no. I said, well, do you get to go out much? He's like, no, I don't get to take it out that often. But he said, that's such a good drive. There's no one on the road. Yeah. It's very well, nice. Well, it's that, it's kind of like, if I'm on a motorcycle, yeah. there's no real cross streets that's dangerous. Yeah, it's not dangerous. It's very good visibility. Only two lane, but. Yeah, that's. 
It's a lot of fun. I, I wonder if I'll ever ride again, Dave. Really? I mean, I don't know. I would probably rent something in California, but... It's, it's too bad you retired now. You yeah. could. I think I, I want to live longer if I can, you know? Well, you don't have to be crazy on the bike. Yeah, I'm worried about other people. Yeah, I know. It's a problem. Text messaging changed the game. I know, yeah. He's dodgy. Mad at us. That's true. All right, well, guys, uh, appreciate you guys for following along the jaywalk. Um, like I said, Nashville this weekend. And then uh, the next one's uh, June 22nd, Riverside, California. But Woo. Uh, big shout out to everyone out there that's pushing their goals. It is, what's day, Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. So I hope you guys keep crushing. You'll be getting this video at the end of the week. And uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, follow. And I keep following our jaywalk and Dave and I were out. He's for you. That game of thrones. Go sexy on you. I kept the script. I rolled the dice. Don't fall asleep. Cause I'm working nights. Hey, you trying to shut me?